Cancer. This is Jackie Tomlin, and this is your general reading for the week of August 29th, 2022, as we leave the month of August and head out into that first week of September. Okay, uh, Cancer, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. There's been a lesson well learned, as well as new opportunities are about to present themselves. A couple of energies that may surround you, Libra, as well as another Cancer. You are moving forward. Good news arrives when you least expect it. Something you're going to be ready to celebrate. There's some new doors opening. And you're also under that um, era of endings and closures and new beginnings. Kind of like that death card energy. So it may be a little bit emotional for you guys this week. First card up for my cancer. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is coming in with financial stability. Things are going well in the financial sector. You may have that sigh of relief or feel that you're finally getting things on track in the finances. Eight of Pentacles, money in addition to. Could be the sale of an item. Not only is it the sale of the item. Um, this could be some kind of side hustle, bonus check, commission check, something that's come in that you weren't expecting. And the Seven of Pentacles shows you're working and gaining and planting that seed. So some of you can actually be looking at a side job, some kind of side hustle, or a second job. With that, we have the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups says you're right here. You're overthinking things. So when you overthink things, you're taking your energy level from here to here. So be warned of that. Because see, this is kind of like your things are tumbling down to the abyss here. No overthinking things. Center of the reading. Seven of Swords. Someone is not telling you everything. Now, generally, this is the card of lies and deception. I don't see that. I just see that someone is not telling you everything. Okay. And with that, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, you are under a new beginning. And the finances is really driving that point home. With the Six of Pentacles, that something is coming in to restore your financial balance. We also have temperance here. This is a Sagittarius energy. This says that you have recognized and embraced. When you do the same thing, you get the same result every single time. Therefore, you're going to have to change things up. Cancer, I can see that you know you need to change things up, but you're going to have to put the action behind changing things up. Okay? And then we have the High Priestess. That's what I'm talking about. High Priestess says you're grounded and centered. You're also very intuitive, but you're having a hard time tapping in and trusting your own intuition. Okay? So let's continue on with these messages. There again, we're looking at Cancer. This is your week of August 29th. First card up, you have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands says things aren't perfect in a non-perfect world. There are some conflicts and struggles in your family life. We also have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords, a divine timing card, saying that you need to make decisions that you've been putting off for too long. And on the Seven of Swords, we have a Gemini energy coming in with that King of Pentacles and financial stability at its highest level. Now, moving further on the overthinking things, there is the Three of Swords. Now, there is a warning here because we have the Three of Swords beside the Seven of Swords. Three is a crowd. Third person, I want to advice and or opinions. That, when my, that falls with the Seven of Swords. If you are in a relationship, you need to investigate a little further. Make sure there's not a third party involved. If you are single, let's make sure a third party is not involved. Center of the reading, we have the Three of Cups. I'm getting ready to celebrate. I'm not going to say this is unexpected. I can say this is unplanned. An unplanned get-together, unplanned going to dinner, or something like that. And then we have the Four of Cups, an unexpected offer of love. Now, if you're a couple, that could be um, in family and friendship, anything like that. Uh, if you're single, this is going to be significant. And we have on that Six of Pentacles, we have that Eight of Pentacles has appeared again. This is money in addition to. So definitely, like I said, I really want to stress I'm feeling the sale of an item. And this could be the sale of a vehicle, a sale of a recreational uh, piece of equipment, something like that. And on your temperance card, we have the Three of Coins. 
you're working, you're trying to find a way to build your money. So you could be looking at investments, savings accounts, like I said, second job, some way to build up what you've got going on. And on the High Priestess, we have the Page of Swords. Now, this is almost like the Fool card. Shows that you're very happy-go-lucky and carefree, but be mindful of what you're doing. And in the center of the reading bonus, we have the Three of Wands. Look at the little boat out here. Three of Wands says you're waiting for your ship to come in. You're looking over the past to see what worked well, what didn't work well. I really think I'm associating this again to your finances. So, yeah, something that you're looking at there, working to make that money work for you, make that money grow. So, thank you guys for watching. If you want to go further with this reading, it's JackieChalman.com or if you're just seeking a personal reading. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.